Smoke rose into Beirut's sky after an explosion was heard in the Lebanese capital on Friday. That happened after Israel carried out a series of massive airstrikes overnight in Beirut's southern suburbs and another that cut off the main border crossing between Lebanon and Syria. The blasts in the Beirut suburbs sent huge plumes of smoke and flames into the night sky and shook buildings kilometers away. The Israeli military did not immediately comment on what the intended target was, and there was no information immediately available on casualties. Lebanon state-run national news agency reported there were more than 10 consecutive airstrikes in the area. The new wave of strikes came after Israel warned people to evacuate communities in southern Lebanon that are outside a United Nations declared buffer zone, as the year-long conflict between Israel and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah escalates. Israel launched a ground incursion into Lebanon on Tuesday and its forces have been clashing with Hezbollah militants in a narrow strip along the border. A series of attacks before the incursion killed some of the group's key members, including longtime leader Hassan Nasrallah. A few people southern Israel on Thursday were seen near the fragments of an Iranian missile that was intercepted by Israel near Arad. The Middle East moved closer to a long-feared regional war the day after Iran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel and Israel said it began limited ground incursions into Lebanon targeting the Iran-backed Hezbollah militia. Israel said it intercepted many of the missiles, and officials in Washington said U.S. destroyers assisted in Israel's defense. Iran said most of its missiles hit their targets. There were no immediate reports of casualties. On Tuesday night, Iran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel in what it said was a retaliation for attacks that killed leaders of Hezbollah, Hamas, and the Iranian military. It referenced Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and Revolutionary Guard General Abbas Nilforashin, both killed in an Israeli airstrike last week in Beirut. It also mentioned Ismail Haniyeh, a top leader in Hamas who was assassinated in Tehran in a suspected Israeli attack in July. Iran's military released footage Thursday claiming to show the launch of some of the at least 180 missiles fired at Israel on Tuesday. Tuesday's attack was the latest in a series of rapidly escalating attacks between Israel and Iran and its Arab allies that threatened to push the Middle East closer to a region-wide war. Iran said the barrage was retaliation for a series of devastating blows Israel has landed in recent weeks against the Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon which has been firing rockets into Israel since the war in Gaza began. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed late Tuesday to retaliate against Iran, which he said, made a big mistake and will pay for it.